Hey, what's up, ladies and gentle tubers? It's Tyler, welcome back to the Everide channel on such a rainy, excellent morning. Here in Southern Utah, it is, you know what? It's probably 80 degrees, but <laughs> to me, that's about as, as good as it's gotten for a long time. I'm kind of out of practice on the dirt bike, to be honest. I haven't been riding a ton this summer. The summer here is kind of like the equivalent of uh, winter time everywhere else. You just don't get out to ride because it's really, really hot unless it's super early in the morning. So at least we got that, but whew, it's a little slick. But uh, life is good right now. Life is really, really good. And uh, you know, I, first I want to apologize about the moto vlog uh, that I made a while ago. Um, about imposter syndrome, sometimes sometimes it's kind of like a different me takes over and sees everything as terrible and awful. I don't know, I don't like that guy and, and um, I make a lot of videos like that. I make a lot of videos that uh, don't make it to the channel, not even the raw channel. You know, when it comes down to it, uh, that's not the type of person I want to be. Man, I'm slow now, I'm so slow. <laughs> Anyway, so although that was uh, the real me and demonstrating some of the, you know, some of the things that, that are going on, um, I want to be a positive person. I want to be a positive influence and share when my life is really good. So, the title of this vlog is Life is Good, a moto vlog. And I thought about it this morning as I was waking up and, and well, all last night because there was this huge thunderstorm, which, you know, was still kind of lingering out here. But uh, I knew it was going to be cool and when I woke up, uh, it's very nice weather. I forgot my Googles. Uh, so I'm gonna have to just blink through this ride, but yeah, so many cool things are going on in life. Uh, first of all, the rallies. Um, the rallies are getting sold. Uh, well, they're not really rallies anymore. I call them weekenders because they just take a weekend so that you don't have to miss a lot of uh, work. But the rallies, the rallies are getting sold and um, that makes me really happy. I'm really excited to meet a lot of new people and uh, take them to some of my favorite places. I'm really I'm really stoked for um, the opportunity to kind of, you know, specialize the rallies um, to be schooling, shred, or uh, scenic rallies, you know. And so, for example, you know, on a schooling rally we might come out here and just kind of cruise around on this dirt road. Um, and then, like, if something that uh, looked fun to the group. Of course, we'll all be talking on the pack talks. But if something looked fun to the group, um, we'd stop and we'd try it. And, and uh, it's kind of like casual coaching, I guess. We got a little river going on here. This is so cool. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. And then scenics, you know, scenics are gonna be scenery rides. Uh, you know, bigger bikes are welcome on those. We're gonna go to some uh, beautiful areas on some longer rides. So that should be really fun. And then, uh, and then the shred rides. Um, we'll go to some gnarly places. We'll ride some of the best trails in Southern Utah. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really excited to kind of show off what's going on down here. Um, this is just such a, just such an amazing landscape, an amazing area. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. Um, the second really cool thing is, uh, man, I watched uh, Barry Morris's. Uh, kind of recent video about um, uh, you know guided rallies and rides and what you should look for and expect and want in a rally he had a terrible experience and so um, you know I want to make sure that I'm crossing off all of the uh, checklists that I need to do um, for example like I need to get a support vehicle you know there needs to be who <laughs> what would you rather have? Riding through a river or riding through a mud bog? It's, it's tough right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, Barry, uh, you know, he had a lot of things to say. I want to make my tour something that Barry would come and be like, dude, that was awesome. Um, and so, yeah, we're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna purchase a backup vehicle. Uh, to make sure it has all of the, you know, the vitals that you don't want to carry on your bike. So, uh, you know, spare tubes, tire changing kit, 
I'm actually gonna put an entire uh, tire changing stand in there. Um, of course a stand if we just have to, or a ramp if we just have to pull you out, um, if that's easier. But there's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. Let me wipe your face off here. How am I gonna afford a truck? Uh, well, here's another bit of good news. Uh, my family, we actually sold our, uh, our old home. Um, and that, uh, that was a huge benefit. That was a huge plus for our family. Um, for so long, we had no retirement. Um, Let me focus for a second, just kind of... What goes up must come down, right? Make sure that, uh, oh, it's a little dirty. Yeah, so we sold uh, sold our house, so my family has a little bit of a retirement, um, you know, savings again. So what we initially used to spend on the Everide business, um, we got back through the sale of that house. And then, uh, of course, if you own a business and, and uh, it's doing well, the most successful investments you can make are in your own business. And so I will be investing um, a bit back into the business. So all in all, I'm just I'm just really excited. Life is good. Oh, <laughs> okay. So you probably wanted like, hey, Tyler, where have the videos been over like the last month? What's been going on? Well, um, <laughs> this is kind of hard to talk about and this vlog isn't about this. Um, and I've talked about it so many times. I've run over what I would say in my head and stuff like this about it, but, um, and this is hard for people to hear, but last uh, couple of weeks ago, maybe three or three weeks ago to a month, um, <clears throat> I was very suicidal and, and uh, got pretty close to hurting myself in some serious ways. So, uh, man. I'm glad that didn't happen. And since then, I've gotten some uh, some help um, from my wife, mainly. And that's been such a huge blessing in my life to have her support. You know, when you're suicidal, you don't want to tell people. It's a really difficult thing because, you know, when you're suicidal, at least for me, you think about, man, I'm a burden on my family. I'm a financial burden. I They'd be better off with somebody else. You think those... You think those things, and um, first of all, they're lies uh, that you tell yourself. But um, anyway, it's hard because you know if you check yourself into a hospital, uh, that's really expensive, and then there's the insurance battle and all that stuff. Um, and if you, you know, if you tell a friend or if you tell your wife or if you tell anybody about it, my big fear, the reason why I didn't talk to it, uh, talk about it to anybody was because, you know, I didn't want to be treated like a mental patient. I didn't want to be treated like broken glass. And so whenever somebody hangs out with me or comes on a ride or whatever, I don't want people thinking, oh man, I better like tread lightly. This guy's unstable. You know what I mean? And that's the thing about being suicidal is it's not 100% of the time. I'm so grateful it's not. And uh, neither is my flavor of depression, luckily. It's more of a, well, little waterfall up here going on. This trail is so munched from the river. <laughs> I, I was just afraid if I talked to anybody about it, uh, bad things would happen. And so it was like, well, the only way out is the way out. Not a, not a good thought. Um, finally, I broke down and I told my wife and uh, the exact opposite of what I thought happened, you know. She was super supportive. Um, the people who I've told have been super supportive. I started going to a therapist again. He recommended some new, not new meds, but just a higher dose of my old meds. <clears throat> and uh, man, to go from where I was at then to how I feel now. For the first time in a long time, I feel good. The, 
adjustment to the new dosage of the meds was a weird time. I think it's still going on. Um, that was hard though. I mean, I, I was a little bit out of my mind, more so than usual. And uh, now that I'm finally feeling like I'm adjusting a little bit, it is, uh, it's nice and night and day. I, I, I feel good again. You know what I mean? It's, it's been so long since I've just felt good. Um, and so, uh, I love that. So, anyway, the reason why I, tell, I tell that stuff to you, as always, is if you're feeling like that, or if you feel like that in the future, if you feel like that in the past, have felt like that way in the past, um, don't be afraid. You know, I still think that this country's got a long way to go when it comes to making sure that, uh, you know, there's not a huge penalty for saving your own life from from suicide, you know what I mean? I I don't think it's right that, you know, if you get checked in to get some serious help that you need, that it's gonna be, you know, tens of thousands of dollars. And I also don't like the fact that, you know, if, if there's any other illness, cancer or anything like that, that tens of thousands of dollars, you know what I mean? And then, and then an insurance battle, that's not cool. Um, so anyway, that, uh, we gotta fix that, and I don't know the solution, but that's an important, uh, important thing. I don't know if I'm actually on the trail anymore. It kind of, well, not kind of, it totally washed away. <laughs> um, but hey, we're having fun, right? At least I am. But uh, anyway, guys, I just kind of wanted to update you and, uh, you know, things are good, things are good. Life is good. Um, it kind of goes back to what I was saying before. Uh, you gotta look for the light at the end of the tunnel. And then uh, there's, like, there's like a train of positive thought that, that can sometimes come through and it's fleeting and you know, you're caught up in such a crappy mood and a crappy, you know, woe is me type of thing that uh, when you do finally now, I'm totally not on the trail. Still, it's fun. <laughs> but uh, when you just catch a glimpse of like positivity and that's something that, you know, if you talk to somebody about it, when somebody's like, how can I help you? How can I help you to feel not so bad? You know, a lot of the times the answer is like, oh, I don't know, you know, and I just feel this way and it sucks. and. There's not a lot I can do, but there is something you can do. Have that person remind you of all of the good in life that's actually happening. And in your head, you're gonna discount it. You're gonna, you're gonna be like, no, that's not legit. Like my life is sucky and blah, blah, blah. But uh, that's, what they're, that's what they need to do is just keep reminding you that life is pretty great and uh, just to keep going, you know what I mean? So if you're feeling that way, you guys do talk to somebody. Do talk to somebody, seek that little bit of help and um, you know, maybe you can make some changes in your life. Uh, I've, changes in my life have been, uh, I've wanted to become a lot more spiritual, uh, so that's helped a lot. Um, other changes I want to be with my family a lot more that's helped immensely um, it's so so fulfilling to be with my kids and put down the video game controllers and you know shut off the TV and put away the phone and uh, and just be present um, in fact that's kind of an experiment that I've been conducting over the last little while is uh, I've been going commando <laughs> with my phone um, I don't have it with me most times. I don't let it distract me. The, the uh, payoff of having your phone always on you, that convenience, is often not worth the life you miss by having that phone just constantly on. <laughs> so, uh, so I leave it home and I just, I set it down and you know, when I am on my phone, it's to interact with people who I really love. It's not just to kind of cruise through Facebook or Instagram. It is to, uh, there's a little trail out here. 
it is to um, you know be a part of somebody's life in a physical way not not a digital way so I think that has helped a lot as well and then obviously the weather today is uh, fantastic and beautiful and and nice and cool it's amazing how much uh, a cool day in a in a in a desert setting can affect your mood and and your uh, perceptions of things it's so nice um, it's kind of like you know when I when I used to live in the tundra <laughs> um, how how a spring day felt you know it, it's not ridiculously warm but it's warm enough that you know what's on the horizon and you just feel it and you get out and ride and it's so glorious that's kind of how I'm feeling right now that's the that's the scenario in the desert. You guys, life is good and don't let anybody or anything tell you otherwise. There's so many blessings that we take for granted every day. And really it's it's a bit of a shame that uh, that we let those things pass us by and and that uh, you know people like me, we focus on the negative. It shouldn't be that way. We should we should just be stoked all the time because life is pretty great. Um, Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I really appreciate your support with the channel just by coming here and watching. Um, hopefully videos like these lift your spirits a little bit. Uh, I do want to vlog a lot more. It's time to stop. This vlog has been pretty long. So uh, much love ladies and gentle tubers. Have a ride out.